Highlight 101. The purpose of highlight is to even out your skin tone, to cover up any blemishes, or to brighten your face in the right places. So I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process of how to apply highlight correctly and how to make it work for your face. So first I'm gonna take my custom compact and a brush and I'm going to apply it in five main places. You wanna focus on your under your eyes, on your nose, underneath your nose, on your chin, and on your forehead. And those five main areas are where you want to apply highlight just to even out to your skin tone to cover up any blemishes, whether that's um, redness, if you have any um, pimples, if you have hypo or hyperpigmentation, anything like that, that's where you want to focus your highlight color. So I'm just going to start by my under eye area. And I like to pat it into my skin. I'm not wiping because it, it kind of appears streaky when you do it like that. So I'm patting nice and neatly under my eye because your under eye area is sensitive. And just gently applying a light layer and evening out that skin tone. I have dark circles under my eyes, and so by applying this highlight color, it's just evening out those um, dark spots and giving it a nice, even coloring. Then I do my nose, and I do the same, same effect, just dabbing and patting the product into my skin. You kind of want it to be um, like a second skin. You want it to kind of melt into your, into your skin so that it looks like it's nice and natural. And I just do a little bit underneath my nose because um, it's not too much different color than the rest of my, my face, so I don't need a whole lot of product under there. And I'm just, I'm also kind of feathering out as I go dabbing and uh, feathering, just light movements. And then for my larger areas, I like to use a larger part of my brush to apply down here. And I'm also doing the same kind of thing, just kind of feathering, pressing it into my skin and then feathering it out. Um, blending as I go. And I can just kind of blend it out that way. And then I also do it on my forehead as well. Now, some people can get away with just doing one color of highlight all over their face. Many women need two different color um, highlight colors um, because we have different skin tones all throughout our face. And the main thing is you wanna make sure that your face matches your neck and your chest. So if you have a really pale, um, neck area, but your face is kind of tanner, then you kind of you probably should use two different highlight colors and try to blend so that it looks like it's one cohesive look. So a lot of times um, women like to have a nice bright color underneath their eye. So I like to apply my uh, original main highlight color on those areas first, and then I just take a little bit of a lighter color and I go underneath my eye area, and that just adds a little bit of a nice brightening look. Also, um, let's say that my neck was a lot lighter than the rest of my face, um, I would apply a lighter color on my chin area so that it would match better with um, the rest of my, my face area. So you just wanna trial and error just Play around with it, see what works best on your skin. Maybe you could get away with just one color. Maybe you need to. Um, and so, and different times of year too, depending on um, how tan your skin is or how fair it is, you might go through different colors throughout the year. So it's nice to have a collection of highlight colors just so that you can be prepared to match your skin at different times of the year. So that is pretty easy when how you just apply 
apply your highlight and it's a really easy step that if you practice more and more it gets easier as it goes and really if you feel like you mess up you can always wipe it off and try again or add more or take off. It is really easy and it will get faster the more that you do.